Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad up touch to the latest iOS. Let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you will see your second option where it's going to say software update. However, not everybody's going to see that. Don't worry about it. And even before we get started, we should do a backup. So if you have soft, no more space on your iCloud, maybe you just want those five gigs that are for free and you ran out, just hook it up to your computer and make a backup there. And if you're having any problems with this update, same deal. Just hook it up to your computer and update it from there. Whether you guys have Mac or PC, it can be done on both. Anyways, right now we're just going to scroll down, assuming you don't have that option and go into general. Second option should say software update and it's just going to take us here. So this is the latest update. Now, let's say you guys pressed on the second option. Let me just go back. It's still going to take us here. So same thing. It's just a shortcut that gets us here. It would in fact be the exact same thing. So this is only 1.41 gigs. Does that mean if you only have two gigs free, you can go on and do this update? Maybe you can. However, I wouldn't have at least three gigs left. That's minimum. Anyways, for now, we're just going to tap on download and install. You might ask you for a passcode if you have one. Now, does it doesn't matter if your iPhone iPad Pro Touch turns off when you're doing this update? Well, when it's downloading, it's not a huge deal. We can just re-download it again. However, when it's installing, then it is a big deal because we're going to have to restore everything. That means wiping everything clean and then putting our backup, loading our backup again. And we don't want to do that. That's just in case something goes wrong. So in order to avoid anything bad from happening, just hook up your iDevice to some electricity. Even if you're at 90% charge, just go ahead and do it while you're making any, any updates. Now, yes, if this is your first day trying to run this update, always, always the first days with any updates, it might take a little bit longer because of the servers and everybody's trying to download them all at the same time. However, with time, and by time, I just mean two or three days later, this runs a lot faster. Obviously to download the update itself, I can't really tell you how much time it will take because it does depend on internet speed. However, with my internet speed, which is a moderate internet speed because I'm doing a lot of stuff online at the same time. Well, this will take for me about just 12 minutes to download the one gig. Afterwards, if you just leave this charging and doing the update, it should technically restart by itself. You should be able to see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then it's just gonna install it for you. So you could just leave this to be and do its own thing by itself. Now, just after that, we should see this where it's saying preparing update. And then finally, we're gonna see installing. So that's next up. And right after we should see this where we can just install now. Once we hit that, so let's just go right there, verify update, awesome. Then we're just gonna see a black screen Apple logo and a loading bar. As mentioned, we would see the Apple logo in the loading bar twice. It's going to run pretty fast the second time. Then we should see this software is up to date. Just scroll up. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. And that would be it. We can always go back into our settings and just make sure we're all up to date under system updates. So right here, we can see that we are all up to date. And that's it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.